Hey everyone, welcome to a video about how to add Storefront UI to your Vue or Next project. Storefront UI is a great component library for building e-commerce websites on Vue. Uh, it's just going to help you create faster and customize easier. Uh, today we have Jacob, a core member of the Storefront UI team, to help us walk through the process. Sure, thanks for having me here. So the first step to add, when adding Storefront UI to a project is to install the Storefront UI dependencies. Right, and you can check out how to get those dependencies installed uh, in the SFUI documentation. We'll link that below. Okay, uh, for the sake of the video, I already installed the Storefront UI library so that we can focus mainly on uh, importing the components. In the source folder, we have two files, app.view and main.js. App.view is like the core uh, wrapper component for default uh, view to projects. Mm -hmm. uh, in here, we have uh, commented lines, which will rep represent the Storefront UI components and uh, that you can use to build your store. So for now, you will see here that this is the default uh, view to web page. You will see it when you will generate your project with Vue CLI. Mm -hmm. How to add components? So basically, what we will do here is we will uncomment these two lines. So here and here. Here, we will uncomment the line about importing Storefront buttons, SF button and SF batch from Storefront UI view library. And here, we will say to our component that we want to use these two components uh, for this app.view component and in our template. So when we save the file and then reload the page. And just to be clear, we're uncommenting these com uh, code lines, but this is something you'll have to write yourself. This isn't something we give you out of the box. Exactly. So here you will see two lines. First is click me and the second one is limited. F you can think of that the, the, these components are already there, but they, you don't have styling yet. To add styling, in Make.js file, we have to import the Storefront UI slash view style slash styles CSS file. And then when we reload the page, you could see SF button that is clickable and also SF batch with limited text. Awesome. And this is the approach for the Vue.js based project. For Next, however, I'll close those two tabs. First, we have the pages uh, component. I will also move to this one. So in this case, we will also import, we will also use SF button and SF batch components. We will also import SF button and SF batch from Storefront UI slash view. We will use these components inside the pages, inside the index.view component. And we also will use the style CSS in this component so that we will have both the logic the template and the styling as well. And when we reload the page, when the next project will start, we will see an error. And an error is because we are trying to import components from this library without actually uh, compiling it. So how do we make it compile and transpile? In next.config.js file, you have this uh, property build. And inside here, we will add this rule to transpile Storefront UI library. Next, when we uh, restart the project, after a while. Yeah, and don't worry work. if it takes a while because that's expected. Yeah, exactly. So after a while, it should call, yeah, just like this. It should show the uh, components very similar to how it was done in Vue.js project. So we have a SF Great. button with up to card text and we have the limited batch. And that's it guys. Awesome. Great. That's a great introduction on how to add Storefront UI to your project. If you have any questions, feel free to head over to the View Storefront Discord where there's a dedicated Storefront UI channel and you can just reach out to any of us and ask questions and we're here to help you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and stick around in case we make more of these.